everybody video here for you today kind of wiping the sleep out of my eyes i will get this uploaded a little later today i've wanted to make this video for about a week now last week i was out by the pool reading graham hancock's america before book for the third time saw a diagram in his book that i never really looked at closely before but it has to do with the mounds at cahokia right down here i have made maybe five or six videos on cahokia some of them featuring monk's mound right here the largest earthen pyramid we have in the United States right here. But I made a video, I think it was last year, where I talked about the path of souls here. Mounds that were not right in the park and are just kind of sitting under the trees. I believe one of them is right down here. So this complex is a lot bigger than what is in the park. There is a mound right there under the trees, but this is very important. The whole layout of the mounds, I believe it represents something very important to these people. And it's in their myths and afterlife beliefs. Now, my previous videos on Cahokia, I took a look at Monk's Mound. I took a look at Woodhenge, the alignments, other things. But I guess I didn't really take all the mounds together and look at it and see what it might represent. And when I looked at this, I knew exactly what it represented. This is Orion the arm coming up here the arm extending even the bow even the bow there they represent that in mounds and that really gave it away the legs down here this was orion to me and i had no doubt about it here is a look at the constellation of orion just with the major stars you see the bow out front here and then you go back to this here and that is exactly what they are representing right here and even a head up here the body and monk's mound represents the heart of Cahokia or the heart of Orion right here. Here's a diagram I have used a lot. Here's the time up here. But how much did they know way back when about the way the stars moved? Orion has been portrayed a lot as the archer. And you can see why here. This star traveling this way. It looks like he's pulling a bow back about to do some hunting. Well... I think this is very important. And this right here with the bow, pulling the, the bow back here, the arm raised, the legs here. I have no doubt that the layout of Cahokia was meant to represent the constellation of Orion. Now, when I was looking at this, I thought, could this be my imagination here playing tricks on me? And I thought, nope, this is exactly what it represents. Orion was central to their afterlife beliefs. And like a lot of cultures, the afterlife was very important to these people. The legs, the arm going up here, the head, the arm extended, and that bow really clinched it for me. But what really sealed it for me was down here. This mound right here had some real small mounds around it here, and they think that rep represented a rattle. But then the rattlesnake causeway goes up here and ends, and that's exactly what their after bl afterlife beliefs indicate that you would go up this causeway and then jump off into the portal of the orion nebula graham hancock talks about that at mounds view and at cahokia extensively in his book america before here is the rattlesnake causeway it ends right below the belt right where the orion nebula hangs down right where this portal is into the afterlife i think this is super important I will leave the link to the video I made last year on the causeway here and the leap into the Orion Nebula and their afterlife, the path of souls. You see the phallus or the sword hanging down. The Orion Nebula was right here. That is very important. Here you see a diagram of the archer, the sword or phallus hanging down. Here you get a look at Cahokia Mounds. But there was that pathway coming up right to the point where the Orion Nebula would be. You would come up this causeway towards Monk's Mound and then take a leap into the Milky Way and it all had to do with the celestial bodies and Orion. But that is the Archer and that is the way the mounds look at Cahokia. I find it pretty astounding that the whole site of Cahokia is mapped in the posture of the constellation of Orion. Here is a pic I used in that video about the Path of Souls at Cahokia last fall. Here is what is remaining of this causeway. They call it the Rattlesnake Causeway. It ends right at the Orion Nebula, right where they say you jump into the afterlife. 
And here is that pathway coming up towards Monk's Mound with the Milky Way coming down. Here is a diagram of it, what's left of it, right below the belt. I think this is very important, and it's the deciding factor that this definitely is in the representation of Orion. Now, I'm not sure if anybody else has made this exact connection. I know a few websites got close, but I really didn't search that hard. I just wanted to make this video with my thoughts. But here is a representation of that mound under the trees with the small mounds around it. And they think that represented a rattle, but that's just speculation. But here is a rattlesnake causeway. It goes up towards Monk's Mound and ends. Where would that end? Right where the Orion Nebula is, right where they say it would in their afterlife beliefs. And I think that is what is represented here, the constellation of Orion with a leap into the Orion Nebula at the end of the Rattlesnake Causeway, which would end right here. In Graham Hancock's America Before, he talks about connections, ancient Egypt and the similarities they are to the mound builders in North America. He talks about the sky-ground correlation at Giza. Well, here at Cahokia, we seem to have a very important sky-ground correlation, and it all has to do with Orion, just like in Egypt. Well, that is another video on the mounds at Cahokia and what they represent. Orion was very important to these people, just like it was to people across the world. But I never really looked at that in that way until last week. All the mounds at Cahokia are meant to represent the constellation of Orion. Hope you thought that was cool, and you all have a very nice day.